Hello everyone, and welcome to the opening of the SERS building at UBC. My name is Peter Busby, I'm the principal architect involved in this project. And I'm sorry I can't join you today, so I'm sending my best wishes with this video. Uh, I promised my wife a safari in Africa for our 40th anniversary, and that's where I am. There are a few key ideas about this building that I'd like to tell you about. The first idea is that it's not just a deep green building, but it's a teaching and education tool for the University of British Columbia. So whether it's the tenants that are there, or the food services operating out of it, or the many visitors that come to the building, or the students who will be educated in the building, it represents uh, a reaching out to the university community uh, and a telling of how important sustainable, our sustainable future is. The second thing, of course, is it's an exemplary building in terms of sustainable design itself. To the best of my knowledge, it's the greenest building in North America when it opens lives off the rainwater that falls on it, treats its own sewage. It's carbon positive in construction. That's why all the wood is here, amongst other reasons. Uh, it's carbon positive and energy positive on an annual uh, point of view in operations. A and it's completely daylit with sunshine. It involves plants, green roofs, uh, and many other sustainable strategies that, that make this uh, an extremely exemplary building. There are many great BC-based innovations in this building, including the sewage treatment system and many other things. But one of the key things here is the use of wood. Pine beetle kill wood is used throughout, both for the diaphragms of the floor, the vertical and horizontal structure. We need to use more wood in all of our buildings going forward, and this is a great example of that. I'd like to conclude the discussion by thanking a few key people. First and foremost, Dr. John Robinson. We've been working on this project for 10 years. Uh, it's his patience, perseverance, and persistence that made it happen. In so doing, he's actually changed the university. The curriculum, even some departments, and the way the university addresses sustainability and their future, low carbon future, has all been affected by Dr. John. A couple of other people to thank, of course, Alberta Coela, who kept the project team together and on track. UBC Properties for building the project. And lastly, I'd like to say, enjoy the building. All, all of the things about that make it green and sustainable are there for you to enjoy. Thank you.